Okay, uh, let's start the next session of this morning. So another remote session. And here is uh, Drew Martinez of the uh, owner of uh, Car <coughs> Carnival in uh, uh, Texas in the US. We are going to talk about technical advances in canvas plant horticulture. え、今あの画面、今から Can everybody see my screen over there? Yes, screen. Can you hear the real voice? Very quiet. Can you have him talk? Drew? Okay. Um, yes. Um, uh, can everybody hear me over there? Not, not well. <laughs> so what was that yesterday? <laughs> Okay. Um, right. Okay. All right. Um, and then, uh, is everybody able to see my screen over there right now? Screen name is Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I will begin. Um, yeah. So my name is Drew Martinez, and I'm the owner of Carnivoro, a carnivorous plant nursery based out of Austin, Texas, in the United States. I'm also the owner of Four Way Biotechnologies a company that designs grow lights and environmental solutions for horticulture. Thank you. I want to thank the ICPS and the uh, Japanese Federal Plant Society for the opportunity to speak today. I've learned a great deal uh, from Japanese growers over the years, and I'm very happy to be given the opportunity to share some knowledge in this presentation. I'm very sorry I cannot be in attendance today in person. I really would have liked to. Unfortunately, I had a bad knee injury and it makes it very difficult for me to get around currently. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get started. So, we all know there's a wide variety of carnivorous plant species around the globe, each with a unique habitat and ecological niche. Yes. 
生息地もそれぞれ独特で、えー、ということをご存知だと思います。
であの今度は冷やす際にはどうするかというとこのように窓を開けたりして非常に単純な方法で行っていました、まあ、窓を手で開ける場合もあります換気する場合もありますし機械的に行う場合もありました Usually, this passive cooling technique can maintain greenhouse temperatures just a few degrees warmer than outside. And in some cases, lower temperatures can be achieved by using misting or fogging. もう少し温度を下げる場合にはミスティングまたはフォーキングということを行いました。Thank you. But the problem is that most spectacular carnivorous plant species come from cool upper montane environments where they experience mild days around、uh, the mid 20s degrees Celsius and nights dropping into the low teens or below. でそこで問題なんですけれども、えー、食虫植物の中には温度の低い、えーえー、高地で育つものがあります。そういうところですと、温度が上昇しても20度台の半ば、えー、下がると10度台の前半になってしまうところで育つものがあります。Thank you. Even worse, in cultivation, these plants Seem to need the same requirements to truly thrive over the long term. They are even more stringent than most other genera of tropical plants. So, sorry, they need moisture, you say?、Um, they are more stringent in their requirements okay, yeah, than other genera of tropical plants. Okay, thank you. If you want to grow the plants, you can grow the 今申し上げたような条件で育,つ育てる必要がありますので、他の植物よりも非常に厳しい条件を満たして育てる必要があります。Thank you. For example, many genera of montane tropical orchids will cease growth in warm temperatures but will recover when it cools down. However, in my experience with the Penthes and Helianthera, it only takes a few months of sub optimal conditions to cause decline. Oftentimes leading to root rot, which manifests too late for it to be remedied. Sorry, sir.、So、can you repeat the last part? So, the Nepenthes and, and Heliantua rapidly decline? And, and yes, it, it only takes a few months of suboptimal conditions for them to decline.、Mm -hmm. And whenever they do decline,、um, by the time you see it, it's too late.、Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. で例えばその、えー、産地の熱帯のラン、えー、ですと、えー、暖かいところに置いてしまうと成長を止めてしまいますがまた低い温度に戻すと戻りますしかしながらネペンテスやヘリアンホラは、えー、温度を間違えてしまうと数ヶ月で、えー、減少してしまいますでそれに気づいた時にはもうあの手遅れということが私の経験からは多いです。Thank you. So, what can we do to meet the requirements of these plants? A traditional approach for greenhouse cooling has been the use of a pad and fan cooling system. Fans on one side push air out of the greenhouse. Negative pressure causes air to enter on the opposite side of the greenhouse through a wet wall. As the air passes through the wet wall, water evaporates, causing the air to be cooled and humidified. Temperatures can drop as much as 30 degrees Celsius, though 10 to 15 degrees is more common. Wet walls are highly efficient for many greenhouse applications. 
の13度ぐらいまで下がることが可能なんですけれども、大体15度ぐらい下がります。で、音質としては非常に様々なことに使います。Thank you. But the problem is that wet wall cooling is limited by thermodynamics. Temperatures can, okay, oh, okay. temperatures can only be cooled from the outside temperature to the wet bulb temperature. で外の温度はその湿気温度にしまでしか下がりません。In some climates, it's not very efficient. For example, if it's 28 degrees Celsius with 80% humidity, then you can anticipate the wet bulb temperature to be 25 degrees Celsius and around 100% humidity. That's only a 3 degree、uh, temperature drop with this cooling system. この、えー、濡れたパッドを通っていった場合には25度、えー、の温度で 100% の湿度になるというふうにこの表から予想されます。ということでわずか3度しか下がらないんです。To get cooler temperatures, you need different technology. Some greenhouses, such as those at Kyoto Botanical Gardens, employ air conditioning to grow montane tropical and alpine plants. でもっと温度を下げようとすれば別の技術が必要になってくるわけですが例えば京都の植物園ではエアコンエアコンディショニングを使って高山植物や熱帯植物を育てています産地の熱帯植物を育てています Thank you It should be noted that air conditioning is known to dry out a room でしかしながら This is true in an environment with no water source, like in a house. However, air conditioned greenhouses often still maintain high humidity because the moisture gets pulled from the wet moss and the soil. It is still important to supply supplemental fogging or misting because over time the moisture will get pulled out of the soil. So we set our humidistats in our air conditioned greenhouses to about 70%. しかしながら追加でフォーギングとかミスティングをする必要がありまして、私の本質では湿度は70度に保っています。At Carnivoro, we have a greenhouse equipped with a hybrid cooling system to maximize energy efficiency. Evaporative coolers are used when the wet bulb temperature is below the target. で我々のカルニベロでは、えー、温室を、まあ、販売しているんですけれども、ハイブリッドのクーリングシステム、冷却システムを使って効率を最大化しています。で蒸発で冷却を、えー、一方では使います。これは、えー、湿気温度が目標の温度よりも低い場合には、えー、蒸発冷却を使います。But the system switches over to air conditioning when it senses that the wet bulb temperature is above the target temperature. Given improvements in lighting technology, it's now feasible to set up a well insulated grow room with artificial light. For growers in extremely hot climates, or with extremely hot summers,、um, 
this type of grow room may be more cost effective than a air conditioned greenhouse. <laughs> At Conivero, we've written software for full greenhouse simulation. The software inputs historical weather data and then determines the optimal design for a greenhouse based on desired temperature targets throughout the year. The software predicts the necessary building materials and HVAC equipment and calculates the utility costs. It's my hope that these sort of ideas can be shared with other growers so that they might be able to design their own highland growing environments in, in their home locations. Okay. Now switching gears, I'm going to talk a little bit about grow light. The poor soil in many carnivorous plant habitats does not support tree or canopy growth. Therefore, many carnivorous plants grow in very sunny locations, and high light is needed when these plants are cultivated indoors. A couple decades ago, the best grow lights were fluorescent bulbs, but even when the plants were placed very close to the lights, many carnivorous plant species were etiolated from light deficiency. Fast forward to today, and it's now possible to overexpose even the most sun loving plants. This is due to the improvement in LED efficiency. LVD grow lights offer two to three times more efficiency than fluorescent T5 bulbs. Also, less heat is produced as the electricity is converted to light. In this animation, you can see the same amount of electricity going to each light. However, there's more photons coming out of the LED versus the older technology. Another improvement is that LEDs come in a variety of form factors. They can be made sleek and waterproof, which is a very handy feature for greenhouse applications. Uh, 
、えー、つまり、えー、温室ですからには最適なんです。Here is the S40 model of the full floor wave biotechnologies light that is often used for growing carnivorous plants on wire shelves in grow tents. これがフローラウェイブバイオテクノロジーライトの一つのモデルなんですけれどもワイヤーラックで食虫植物を育てる際によく使われるライトです LEDs can also be made dimmable which allows for optimization of lighting based on species preference and the life stage and their growth cycle でまた LED は超高が明るさを変えることができますのでそれぞれの種に合わせたり成長段階に合わせることが可能です。Here's a group of tissue cultured nepenthes where the light is gradually increased as they activate and mature。これ今お見せしているのはエキレゼンティスの組織培養なんですけれども光の強さを。Okay, oh, I just want to say a few words about water quality. Many carnivorous plants. Are extremely sensitive to salt concentrations in soils and water. Uh, many species like Heliamphora or Hyla Nepenthes, like、uh, Nepenthes edwardsiana,、um, absolutely require the highest purity of water to be successful. またユリアキュラやあの今あのおっしゃった種類は非常に純度の高い水が必要になります。で、この新しいお見せしている新しいその浄水システムはアメリカドルでしたら100ドル未満で入手可能です。Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about is automation opportunities for carnivorous plant growers. Here is an example of an old school automation setup. It takes some engineering or electrical background to be able to properly build these circuits and the controls. But now I can say, Alexa, grow my plants instead of automation. <laughs> It's not so much that the automation technology didn't exist in the past, but the availability of home automation makes it easy, cheap, and accessible to everybody, not just engineers and scientists with substantial budgets and knowledge. スマートテーマスタッツのエアコンディショナルは、ローカルのエアコンディショナルは、ローカルのエアコンディショナルは、ローカルのエアコンディショナルは、ローカルのエアコンディショナルは、ローカルのエアコンディショナルは、That they、uh, allow for convenient programming、uh, between night and day temperatures. And smart plugs can be programmed or controlled remotely.
The plugs are very affordable and they can be used for pumps, misters, lights, valves, fans, evaporative coolers, anything you can think of. Finally, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth monitoring can give you easy access to your conditions and prevent catastrophic damages from power outages and equipment failures. So I want to thank everybody for the opportunity to speak today. And again, I want to express my deepest gratitude to growers in Japan who have been so generous with their knowledge sharing. In particular, I really would like to thank Koji Kondo, who has helped put on this wonderful event and who is in the past hosted me for visits to Japan where I, I could talk to other growers. <coughs> Also, I'd like to mention uh, Doi-san from Hyogo Professional Botanical Gardens and the Greenhouse staff at Kyoto Botanical Gardens, who I, I thank for sharing their knowledge. And now I'd love to answer any of your questions. Thank you, Drew. So uh, a fantastic presentation about uh, the uh, current or updated uh, computation technologies. Uh, uh, and the so you now start the Q and A session. Um, I thank you very much for this very informational um, presentation. Um, I have noticed that you didn't mention. Do you, the root, can you hear the question? I can. Yes. <laughs> Super. I have noticed that you didn't mention improvements in irrigation and the uh, drip uh, technology as a method for watering uh, carnivorous plants. Do you have any uh, experience using these methods? Mm, oh, yes. Yeah, so let me translate the question. <laughs> so can you repeat, so you, he didn't mention irrigation, irrigation and... Irrigation and drip technology. Drip technology. Yes. Yes. So, uh, this is a topic uh, that's um, often applicable for uh, commercial growers, and um, uh, there hasn't, uh, there is a lot of existing technology. Um, from the past that has been used for uh, decades in terms of the actual dripping um, and water application to the plants. What is, has modernized is the controls. Now there's um, Wi-Fi controls um, and programmable controls to be able to um, control irrigation systems with a lot more uh, precision. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.
Wi-Fi を使ったり、またプログラムができるようになったという点も違うかと思います。Also,、uh, for certain plants that require refrigerated water, the cost of aquarium chillers has fallen dramatically.、Um, to grow plants such as Darlingtonia that require、uh, chilled water. And also, the Sorry, I missed the middle part. So,、uh, for example, for Darlingtonia, They require、uh, refrigerated water. Yes. And,、um, and um, the cost of the aquarium chillers、oh, to cool down water has fallen dramatically.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so、uh, once we start getting into、um, you know, um, deionized,、um, uh, that water is so pure that、um, the plants are not getting、um, any nutrients、uh, um, to them.、Um, you know, they, they need a trace.、Um, so,、um, you know, but、we've, we g- generally um, um, don't go to that extent、um, just because we found that that isn't required for. Uh, greenhouse growing.、Um, now, in a lab setting, um, uh, that is something that we use, but there's, there's other reasons for that,、um, you know, such as very tight controls, you know, tissue culture.、Um, but in a greenhouse,、um, usually reverse osmosis quality 
kind of enters this regime that is uh, about the purity of rainwater, uh, which is about, um, well, it's a little more complicated um, than just TDS, but, you know, I could throw out a number somewhere around like six to ten parts per million uh, salt concentration. Um, and that's the regime we're looking at where, you know, once it's about there, then it doesn't matter if it gets purer than that. え、水質についてのご質問で、他の浄水器などと、え、違いを実験されたのかということ、え、浄水、水の処理の浄水があったり、かつ溶化点が行われます。で、そのような実験されたのかということで、え、ま、水脱溶化をしてしまうと非常に
uh, and, and it's easy to see the plants um, and detect any problems. And I just finally wanted to say, I wish we, that you were here, because we're all missing you that you're not here. あ、私はですね。ディレクターのシェフのことをあの、商人として発言したいと思います。あの、え、私、あの、ドゥルさんのところから 4 ですから、で、小さい方もえ、窓の家の窓のところに置いて室内で花を育てる。それも非常に成功しています。で、実は別のLEDピンク色のLEDを使ったことがあるんですけれども、やはり変な感じがします。変に見えます。で、そうですので、
um, if we can keep it uh, as close to the solar spectrum as possible, um, then um, the plants are going to respond as if it, if it was uh, under natural light. Um, uh, the, the only um, challenge there is just not overexposing them as they get more and more efficient, right? You, know, you, have, a, you have a grow shelf that's set up two feet away, and then you know, suddenly the, you know, uh, three years later the chips are 25% more efficient or something like that. So I've definitely had some cases where um, I had to uh, move some things around because um, you know, it, just, uh, it was too powerful. あの、ライトを開発する際、そうですね、あの、自然光に近い、2個に近いエネルギーが開発されるだんだん、結果が進んでいます。で、しかし注意すべき、あの、海外としてはその光を当てすぎないという必要はあるかと思います。例えばその、え、ある、え、時点でその 光が当たるようにしないといけない点はあります。Thank you. One more question. Thank you for your presentation. Um, do you have any experience, and could you comment, please, on plasma technology lighting? <coughs> Oh, plasma technology for lighting. Okay. Uh, truthfully, I don't have um, as much experience with um, with plasma designs. They're uh, generally used for larger, um, like larger um, form factors, um, and oftentimes the, uh, the the lights that we're designing are, are for um, more sleek, um, compact um, applications. Mm -hmm. So, if I understand correctly, you're talking about plasma technology. So, え、あまりそのえ、プラズマテクノロジーを、え、使った経験はないんですけども、通常はその大きな大きなものに使う。で、だんだんとでもそのえ、機械自体はえ、スッキリと Okay, thank you very much, Drew, for a very interesting uh, presentation about uh, capitalization technology. And uh, we have, we, uh, here in the conference room, uh, there are a few people from the US who are endorsing your products. And uh, some of uh, uh, Japanese <laughs> global uh, I believe they have been interested in. And if so, you may receive in the future some uh, uh, bulk of the order for which you need to customize to fit Japanese voltage. OK. I, uh, that's not a problem. I, I would look forward to, uh, to doing that. And please reach out. Um, if anybody has any uh, questions, not just about lighting, but any other aspects of, uh, of greenhouse technology, um, I'd be happy to help. Let me explain what I said to you. 
レレのサーバイブテクニックの素晴らしいプレゼンありがとうでこの会場にはその後に23名のアメリカからあのデュルーの会社のライトのユーザーがいらっしゃっててそれが非常に優れた性能があって非常に効果があるということを聞かれた日本人のサイバーがですね非常にあのこれを買ってみたいと思って。まあ、ひょっとしたら近いうちにまとまったオーダーが日本から行くんじゃないかとじゃあそれに対してあの日本の電圧に対応するカスタマイズをやってくださいねということを申し上げたんですでジュリューさんは、えー、ライトだけではなく音質に関するテクノロジーでご質問があればどうぞご連絡くださいということでした okay. Thank you, I guess you are now becoming sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting late over here. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.